Shadowkin now is the first faction with two mythical champions. And I just had this feeling in my gut that Toshiro was going to be crazy good. He seems on the surface like, I don't know, not that good. Maybe I'm brushing this off, but I think he's going to be amazing. And I'm really looking forward to testing him. So let's jump in. We're going to do a damage test. We're going to do a Hydra run. And uh, if he's good enough... Maybe we'll try him in some other areas as well. But I'm super excited because this guy is so cool. What's up, guys? MTG Jedi here. How you doing today? We're talking about Toshiro the Bloodied. And, man, I think this has got to be Genzin 2.0. I think this is going to be YST's new favorite champion. I haven't heard anything about him, but aesthetically, I absolutely love this champion. And I would love to get him on my account. Look what he looks like when he transforms. Oh, it's so cool. He is like a Boro, like the male version of a Boro. So cool. So cool. Let's look at this side of his kit first since we're here. But I don't really understand it, okay? Attacks all enemies, 50% chance to increase the duration of all enemy debuffs. Okay, that's good. And we're going back to this damage based on HP and attack. I thought we were done with that. Then he's got an AoE, heals all allies except this champion, by 10% of the damage inflicted, and the heal increases by 5% for each leech. So a lot of his kit is based on leech, but like... I don't know. I guess maybe it could do damage. We are going to do a damage check on him, so we can try that. And then he has an AoE, Decrease Speed, and Leech grants an extra turn. And I love this, except for the fact that his other side is so much better. Or at least it appears that way. So on this side, he has the passive, doubles the amount of healing this champion receives when attacking enemies under leech, also decreases the damage taken from enemies under leech debuffs by 50%. I mean, all that sounds great. And if his other side didn't seem so awesome, I would be excited about that. But look at this side, okay? A1, 50% chance of attacking another enemy if they're under leech. And he perfect veils himself. And he gets two multipliers in here with attack and HP. HP. I mean, I don't know that that grants more damage, but I think it does. Anyway, he's got a nice base attack. His base HP is kind of low. But other than that, he seems great. Okay, Four times at random... His attack and HP scale by 5% up to 100% if there's a leech. And if there's a leech, then it goes to 10% instead. So, damage increases, uh, damage inflicted by the skill increases by 15% for each leech debuff on the enemy team. So, if you on Hydra hit all four heads... That's a lot of bonus damage, okay? And then here, if it was just those two, I would not be impressed. But this is what impresses me. Because he can be your decreased defense champion. Decreased defense and leech. Places an extra hit on enemies under two or more debuffs. And this extra hit in raid is what makes for busted champions. This is what makes Magnar good. This is what makes... King, Narcy's good. All of these people, Trunda, this is why they're good, because of this extra hit, okay? And then, his passive fills his champion's turn meter by 5% every time they attack a target under leech. So he's boosting his turn meter. Inflicts 25% more damage to enemies under a leech debuff. But he does that in his kit on a three-turn cooldown. So, if we prioritize this, he's going to do decreased defense and, and leech, and then he's going to get all of this stuff. He's going to get permanent buffs for the whole fight. I just think, how, how can this guy not be amazing? And based on the thumbnail, you know he's going to be good. But how good? He's calling me out right now. 
But I am so excited to show this champion to you because, yeah, I mean, spoiler alert, he's good, okay? He's really, really good. Okay, so I put some decent gear on him, all right? I'm not going to say this is the best of the best gear, but remember, you do need accuracy, okay? I would say if we're uh, going to use him in Nightmare, we need 350 accuracy, and we got that on the nose. 350 accuracy. Now, I also have him freaking fast, okay? So some of you might be able to get these stats and just cut 40 speed off, you know? Cut... 50 60 speed off right some of you are going to be able to get better stats than this okay like this i i didn't expect him to do this kind of damage that we're going to see today and so i didn't put him in the best possible gear but like you can see all of the ascensions right so like it's not like it's bad gear um but it's definitely not the best possible and then I did Helm Smasher here, along with some interesting offense and support masteries. The support masteries are kind of normal, but the offense masteries, I think that Ruthless Ambush actually works because the heads count as new enemies. And so I think that that's going to be something that's very helpful. And then we have Cycle of Violence. I'm not sure that's going to trigger. Maybe that should be Bring It Down. But if we did that, then we wouldn't be able to take Stoke to Fury. So that's just a couple things. Some of that is a little bit of testing. You can give me some feedback on that if you want. Uh, singled Out would be also very good. Um, Life Drinker would be very good. So there's definitely some options here. Um, another one that I would have liked to get in here is Arcane Celerity. So we're missing out on some really good masteries, but also at the same time, we have some really good ones too. So it's hard to say for sure. Okay, now for the damage test. Stage 20, I left Calamitous in here. Uh, he's not important to the video other than he gets the attack in all battles aura. If you want to see him in action, make sure you go check out the video from yesterday. If I remember, I'll try to link it at the end. Otherwise, you can just go like look in, under the video section. So let's jump in here and see what kind of damage he can do. Okay, now the interesting part about his kit, and one of the reasons why I wanted him so fast, is because he's my decreased defense champion in the Hydra team, okay? And I will show you that in a minute. Stick with me here, okay? The damage test is important. You guys have told me this is one of the most important parts about the test server videos is you want to see the damage test, okay? And I feel like... Um, no shade to some of the other content creators, but I feel like I've kind of passed them with my gear level, and so sometimes I can showcase the gear better than what they can. But tell me I'm wrong in the comments. So we have decreased defense and leech. So I want to do this test twice. Once where we just see his damage, and then once where we do Lydia first and then him, okay? Because this ability... Let's just slow it down to the times one speed. This ability is crazy. Okay, clearly I misclicked. All right. Um, cool. If I remember, I'll edit that out. But otherwise, <laughs> womp womp. Okay, this is still fine. We can go decrease defense and weaken here. And then we can do nothing um, on Calamitous. You're not important to this. Then we can boost his damage and see this in action. He just clears the wave by himself, basically. Like 150k. Okay, then now is a great time to show the ability uh, on its own, if we can cycle back around. And then this one here, the four times at random. Okay, without decreased defense or weaken, we're getting like 20k. Lydia's is 10k for reference. Um, and then his A1, we already saw that. Uh, that doesn't matter. Okay. And then his A1 here, 30k without decreased defense or weaken. And then let's give him another turn here. Um, let's show off the A1. 75k without decreased defense or weaken. Okay, let me set it back up again. Okay, so now we need to see his damage just on his own with this ability. And look, he almost clears the wave. Let's see that again. 
Okay, so I slowed it down so that we can really see it. He's going to do, uh, like, up to 97k, and he's getting two hits. And then if there's already decreased defense out there, like from Lydia or from himself, then we're going to get that again? Like, it's a double that? That's crazy. That is absolutely crazy. All right, so let's see this with decreased defense and weaken. Uh, how much damage is that going to do? Like 100k on those? Wowzers. And in addition to that, his kit is going to scale it. Dang. Okay, as you would expect, his other form is not really going to do damage. He got two attacks with the A2 and the A3, and we didn't even kill the wave with two attacks. And, like, I'm not trying to say that that's surprising. It's fine. It's his support form. Um, but, you know, it, it is a little sad. But his A1 is an AoE. And, I mean, that's doing support-type champion damage. Okay, it's not important. So his first form is the damage dealing form, and I feel like that's really legit. Um, maybe I should show him in arena first before we jump into Hydra. Okay, let's do like one or two arena fights before we get to the Hydra fight. Okay, let's try this team real quick here. Arbiter, Yumiko, Necrit, and Tashiro. I know, say what you want, whether it's, you know, it's pay to win. I get that. But what we're trying to do is test the team. And the teams on the test server are hardcore. Thank you, Layla. <laughs> Shout out, Layla Fox Nation. Okay, so we're going to go increase attack. And then we'll reset. And then he will place. Okay. And then ally attack and kill. Okay. And then come back in and kill the Krisk. Okay. All right. That's a thing that could happen. Um, I think Victor Tess, like, no matter what I'm going to do, he's going to kill me. Deadwood Jedi we could do. Let's let's fight my dude Tyraku. He is he's his account's been getting pretty nice. And I am always a big uh proponent of the plus four ray. I just love it. So let's come in here. Shout out Tyraku and all the other content creators on the test server as well. Okay, so here we go. Reset them. Locked. And Okay, we didn't kill Sifi, but we're still alive. Okay, <laughs> let's kill Sifi. Okay, and then let's boost again. Let's lower the turn meter. And then this is the four hitter. Okay, because it targeted Ultimate Death Knight so many times. Maybe Arbiter can kill him? No. Oh, dang. <laughs> Are you gonna solo me with Rotos? Oh, no. Oh, we can revive people. Oh, we're fine. Um, yeah, see, I think I want to risk that. No, that was a terrible idea. Can we just kill him? No! Okay, wait, protect. Uh, lower the turn meter a little. Oh no, we're dead. Oh no, he's gonna kill Yumiko. So what about this? Oh, he's dead. Okay, now what about this? Oh no, oh no, Ultimate Death Knight is gonna be too tanky for us. Maybe we should switch forms. We can switch forms. And then he will protect himself, right? Mm, then grants an extra turn. Okay, that didn't do anything. Heals, heals himself. Okay. <laughs> can, we, can we win this fight? No. No. And then we're dead? 
Oh, <laughs> okay, but, you know, if Arbiter hadn't died, if we had a tankier team, that's enough to showcase it, right? I don't know. Let's try one more thing. Let's see if Deadwood, if we're faster than Deadwood. If he's faster than us, we're dead. Okay, we're faster than... We got you, Deadwood! Battle of the Jedis. <clears throat> and then do we kill everybody? Okay, everybody except Yumiko. And then we just ally attack her. And then she dies. Okay, sweet. So you could see, like, I think he's good enough to be your arena nuker. Like, if I didn't have accuracy on him, I feel like I said, like, 5,000 times. Um, if I didn't have accuracy on him, just like Monkey King... You could decide, well, I want more accuracy, I want more damage, I want a hybrid build. Right now, we're kind of on a hybrid build. I could easily slow him down and add a lot more attack, and then he would be even more powerful. That sounds absolutely amazing. Let's jump over to the Hydra team and talk about that, and you, because you need to see this. All right, so here's the team. Some people are going to be mad about it. Some people are not going to care, but I put the archer in the team, and some people are hateful about that. Feel free to tell me about it in the comments below. I'm also using uh, some of the other new champions, like Estrid and Mr. Wall Guardian, who I love both of. I need them. And then Toshiro here, he's just going to impress you, I think. Uh, but maybe I'm wrong. Put a prediction in the comments below how much of the damage you think he did. So, and then we'll go from there. And, you know, I know this might not be an easy to put together team, but the, that's not the point. The point is the damage potential of the team. That's what we're talking about. In case you want to know what kind of stats we're working with here, I'm not messing around, okay? I got over 300 speed here, over 350 accuracy. You already saw the stats here. I think I can improve these stats. Like, I think I can get a lot more attack than that, which means he's going to do a lot more damage than that. I think I can get a lot more crit damage than that. But we'll see. Uh, then, Athorion, you know, I have some reasonable speed and accuracy here. I don't think this is anything crazy. The hardest part about this is actually getting the kit. Um, he's going to prioritize his block buffs, I think. So we don't need to worry about that. Uh, Toshiro, as you saw, he's going to not switch forms. We don't want him to switch forms. Sulfurion is amazing. If you have him use him, make sure you prioritize his shield. He will revive at every opportunity. But if you don't prioritize this, then he will just a lot of times boost on the A1. The Archer in here is amazing. I have good gear on her. You know, it's whatever. Same thing with Mikage. I have good gear on her. And we're not switching forms. So anyway, if you want to know how to get this kind of damage, you just add a lot of speed and good, you know, good gear to your champions. I'm not trying to talk down to anybody because everybody can get here eventually. You know, not it's not just the champions you have, it's the gear. So remember to farm Sand Devil, farm your dungeons, you know, get that uh, forge pass gear, use your forge, all of the things they're going to help you, okay? So let's jump in here and let's take a look and see what he's going to do on Hydra. Then we'll get to that damage screen that you have been wanting to see. Okay, wait. Um, I think I set everything up correctly, but let's just, uh, let's just make sure. Okay, so we had a decreased speed and weaken from Estrid. She's amazing. Please don't skip this fusion unless you're burnout, Okay. Let's put the burns and the shields up. Let's put the hex. This is the hex, right? The hex and the provoke up. And now let's see what kind of damage he's doing. I mean, like 500k without his boosted stats. And then let's do this. And he's doing like almost 2 million. <laughs> That's insane. <laughs> that is insane. All right, let's uh, ally attack here. Makage should be getting in your Hydra teams as well. I was literally just telling Chronic earlier tonight, get Makage in his team, and uh, he's got some crazy teams with Acrisius. Okay, and even him, I was like, 
dude, you need to do this. Oh, I was supposed to do this and then the other one. Oh, well. Oh, well. Okay, so let's get another attack here. Okay. Uh, what happened there? How did he die? That's odd. But anyway, we can revive him. Maybe he needs better survivability kind of a gear. Four times at random. I mean, he's doing like 100k per hit, so that's 400k. And then we'll easily heal back up. All of the turn meter does the healing. And then we'll just cycle back through our abilities. I think I'm going to target in the in the middle here. Actually, I feel like I could target here. Um, but anyway, you don't even need to target with a team like this. Uh, it will just run full auto if you have a good team composition, which you should definitely try to do. Um, I think what we're going to see is Toshiro's damage scale up quite a bit. Because right now, it looks like my dude, this new archer, uh, Authorion, it looks like he's going to be the one who's doing all the damage in this team. Or maybe Sulfurion with the HP burns and stuff. But yeah, it definitely does not seem like Toshiro's going to come through for us here. So let's go cut to the damage screen and then we'll see what happens with this team. As always, make sure you put your comments and feedback in the comment section below. Uh, I love hearing from you guys on stuff like this and I do take your feedback into consideration. Um... We're going to kill all the heads on turn 9? Wow, that's fast through decapitating the heads. I'm not sure I even do that on my main account. Like, uh, on the normal server. I don't think I kill the heads this quickly. I'm going to need to think about this team composition here on the main and see if maybe we can replace... Uh, some people here, but man, I love her so much. Um, in case you want a comparable replacement to him, I think Michinaki could be a great replacement for him, and then you could put a different provoker here. Like, maybe you replace Toshiro. You could replace Toshiro, Archer, and Sulfurion with Rathlos, Blademaster... Or another DPS. Michinaki. And maybe like a Molly. Or, you know, another Reviver could be good. But anyway, you know, th that that's another story for another day. Until that day, let's go ahead and skip ahead to the damage screen. I know this is getting kind of long. But thank you for sticking with me here. I feel like, man, I've just had a little bit extra time to make some baller videos on the test server. So let me know if you appreciate that, and we'll flip to the damage screen and talk about it from there. Holy crap, I did not expect that result. Sheesh. I mean, like, okay, so Authorion coming in here doing 213 million. Okay, I, I could expect that. Uh, Archer coming in here doing 113 million. Okay, I could expect that. You know, she's getting the hex damage, blah, 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 blah. Sulfurion coming in here, getting the HP burn damage. But Toshiro getting 201 million damage? This is one of the new top tier damage dealers. I mean, I'm going to show you his gear and stuff at the end of the video here, like I said I would. But I... Oh, man, I did not expect this. He doesn't have a blessing. It's not like he's empowered. Like, I'm not going to say he's in terrible gear or anything, but this exceeded well far and above my expectations. I, this is a personal best for me on Nightmare Hydra right here. I know this is on the test server, but still, but still. Now, also, Athorion, I don't have him, and Toshiro, I don't have him either on my main account. But now, these are champions I'm definitely going to be going for. I mean, okay, so based on the thumbnail, you might have expected this, but did you really think 
with this team he was gonna do this much damage did you can you tell me in the comments if you actually thought he was gonna do this much damage there's no way there's no way you thought that <laughs> There's no way you thought that. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed these new champions. I know I used Archer, but uh, put it in the comments below how much you hate uh, that I used Archer. So that Plarium will see it. Because they tell me that they look at the comments. So tell me how much you hated me using Archer. Dislike the video if you really felt like strongly about that. That will be a big indicator. I do look at those things. But hopefully you enjoyed the Toshiro Showcase. Because this dude is so good. Anyway, hopefully they'll fix Calamitous like they did Toshiro here. Because Calamitous deserves to be this good too. He does. This is the kind of damage I thought we were going to get out of Calamitous. And then he did nothing. I mean, he has a cool kit. But, like, he's Michinaki, you know, not even as good. So, <laughs> um, unfortunately. And I do have a question into Polarium, you know, as I said before, about whether he is bugged as he's working as intended. Okay, I already said all that. I don't need to rehash it. But, wow. I was just so impressed. I was so impressed with this team. I wasn't sure I was going to make this video until I saw the damage screen. And then I was like, okay, well, I guess I have to make the video now. So anyway, I think even with bad gear, like even with mid game gear, even with early game gear, no matter what your gear is, this guy can help you as long as you have a reviver in case he dies. He is an attack based champion. Keeping a reviver in your team is very, very helpful. So I know I've been a little bit long winded sometimes. So let's wrap the video up there. If you appreciate this, hit the like button and tell me about it in the comments below. And uh, hopefully I'll see you later today for another video. Bye bye.